Hi everyone, this is Vivek Dwedi, 4th year integrated MSc in chemistry at NYSA. This is going to be a very important video for all the NEST aspirants because the NEST exam is very close within 2-3 days and I am going to tell you some very important rules for your examination center, your venue, what are the rules you must follow because especially due to COVID and the whole examination committee is conducting the exam with the risk of COVID, right? And already there are so many variants of COVID-19. These rules are must, otherwise you will not be allowed to give examination on 14th of August. So read these rules carefully and please do as I have said in this video and as written in your admit card. If you have not got admit card, please go and take it from the NEST website. Link is given in the description. You need to fill correct user ID and password. Otherwise, after so many wrong attempts, you will be blocked and you will not be able to download the admit card. So only fill the correct user ID and password, which you will get in your Gmail or your SMS, which you filled during the registration of NEST 2021. Those who are already blocked, by filling so many wrong information like wrong user id or password you can mail to nest help desk again the contact is given in the website and i'm also giving the link in the description so what are the important rules for nest 2021 exam when you go to exam venue i'm going to tell you why do you need to go one hour and 30 minutes earlier than exam because it is very important there are so many procedure before you enter to the exam hall and sit there because of covid also the exam center and everything is given what are the instructions to candidates number one candidate must maintain social distancing starting from the point of entry in the exam venue till his her exit from the venue this is very important as it is written because you also have risk right other student may, might be having covid 19 or who knows what variant of covid 19 so be careful all of you have to maintain social distancing second the candidates are required to bring their own mask, their own glass, water bottles, personal hand sanitizers, HB pencil, all these five things. Because again, when there is common point for taking water, that means there is chance of spreading COVID-19. Hence, I don't think that they will provide a common uh, water point and you will be allowed, you know, to go and uh, drink water from a common source. That is why they have written, bring your own water bottle. As some people ask what kind of gloves. So those gloves are actually, you know, uh, plastic gloves or rubber gloves, which doc generally doctors use, for example. In the absence of these, you will not be allowed to sit for the exam so important point because if you're not having hand sanitizer you're not be wearing gloves you're not wearing mask that means you have chance that you will spread your uh, symptoms or your uh, you know infection to others that is why you will not be allowed to sit in the exam neither nest nor tcs will be responsible for any eventuality arising out of candidates not uh, following the prevalent government rules no other items will be permitted inside the exam venue so apart from these items nothing will be uh, allowed now number three calculators phone laptop and other electronic gadgets are strictly prohibited which is common sense again those who do not know about the calculator it will be given in the computer screen fourth point a candidate must have arogya setu app installed in his or her phone arogya setu dashboard must show candidates risk factor so basically this is to know the risk factor a candidate will have to show the dashboard you know open the arogya setu and you will have to show it to the uh, security guard at the point of entry to the exam venue this is mandatory see it is written it is mandatory that you install the arogya setu app and it will show the risk factor it, it will show how much risk you are posing to others uh, to spread the covid 19 this is mandatory if you are not having a smartphone it is given here you he or she will have to bring a signed declaration to this effect declaration is provided uh, at the end of the admit card i am going to show you what what is the declaration so if you are not showing the dashboard of arogya setu then you will have to show this a declaration form to the security guard at the entry point of your exam venue this is very important point and mandatory if you don't follow this you will not be allowed to give exam fifth point candidates showing covid symptoms cough fever cold runny nose breathing problem have to sign the declaration attached below 
and such candidates will be moved to sit in isolation lab so basically if you guys or any of you are having symptoms of covid 19 all these symptoms like cough fever cold or breathing problem running nose you will be given separate computers separate isolated uh, you know place to sit and give you exam they will not allow you you know where uh, rest of the people are sitting it is obviously good for all of you that uh, good that uh, those who are having symptoms will not be allowed to be in contact with you all and obviously you have to follow the social distancing number six entry of candidates will be as per reporting time given on the hall ticket to maintain social distancing at the center this is admit card is hall ticket so you must report at the, those times because if you want to maintain social distancing you must come at the time you were told to come so that you go forward and others can come like that so you must come to exact time of reporting as in this admit card it was mentioned 1 pm now seven temperature of candidate will be checked at entry to the exam venue using a thermogun eight mapping of candidate roll number and lab number will not be displayed outside the exam venue but the same will be provided to candidate individually at the time of entry to the exam venue and post their admit card and id verification so basically your roll number and lab number the lab where you will sit computer lab will not be displayed at the exam venue it will be displayed only after you have entered the venue and you have done the verification of your admit card and id so basically one more thing which is very important and needed is admit card along with that your photo identity card it can be aadhaar card it can be voter id uh, it can be driving license i guess but aadhaar card is most widely used nine candidates need to follow directions given by the representatives and need to stand in circles drawn at the entry point so basically to maintain social distancing they will draw circle on the road or on the ground that after uh, one meter or two meter distance and you will have to stand or at those points only it will be like a line and with a lot of distance between each candidate 10 at the registration desk after the entry you know after you will show your arogi setu dashboard or your declaration to the security guard you will be allowed to enter at the given time you were told after you know entry at the registration desk candidate will be directed to sanitize his her hands using provided sanitizer the candidate photograph will be captured during the registration process so your photo will be taken during this registration process uh, registration is basically you know uh, they will verify your admit card photo verification now 11 candidate is required to report the exam venue strictly as per reporting time mentioned in the admit card and or informed by sms on their registered mobile number prior to the exam date so basically your reporting time is given in this admit card for example in this admit card it is 1 pm or for shift 2 for this person it is 1 pm it may be different from you okay remember so you must go at that time and your uh, reporting time will have also come to your sms the mobile number which you have given during the registration 12 bring this admit card with you you will not be allowed to uh, enter the exam hall without the admit card obviously 13 in addition to admit card please make sure to bring your admit card of class 12th board exam but since there was no board exam this time or maybe other photo identity proof with you so photo identity to proof can be voter id or your aadhaar card aadhaar card is easiest and i guess everyone has so bring that admit card and aadhaar card very important so let me summarize what are the important things you need to bring to the exam hall first of all admit card number two any photo identity proof like aadhaar card three your own water bottle mask gloves hand sanitizer hb pencil so let me finally tell you what is the self declaration form you need to fill and sign if you're not having our Ar C2 app or you're not uh, you know uh, having a smartphone so this is the self declaration form on your screen and it is basically saying that i am taking the you know responsibility of my own health we are concerned about your health safety and hygiene interest in the interest of your well-being and everyone should be safe at the venue you need to tell following things that you are not having any cough symptoms you're not having any fever you're not having runny nose or breathing problem 
a candidate having any symptom will be asked to fill this form and move to the isolation lab where you will give exam because you are having all these symptoms so uh, you have to fill your uh, candidate name roll number date of exam exam center signature of candidate finally so that was all all the important things i think you needed to know about exam venue and various rules if you want to know more you can message me below or ask your comments you can message me in telegram instagram and you can join my telegram channels to get various mock tests and various resources so with that all the best for your exam see you at nizero cbs all the best you will rock the exam